On today's four points, we are going to talk about getting yourself frozen in carbonite. There's a dude who wants to teach geography using the zombie outbreak. Uh, there's more iPhone apps to stick in the windshield of your car and a robot butt. Yeah, but we talk about it all with Joel David Moore. And Captain America has got a sexy ass. <laughs> Welcome to episode three of Four Points. Very excited to have you here. Four Points is a weekly show where we get four awesome people to sit down right here and talk about four different topics. Uh, again, as this is one of the first four shows, we do want to talk about the fact that we're on YouTube, which is awesome. Comment down here if you want to chat uh, But But more importantly, uh, if you are watching this show and you have to get up to take a leak and all of a sudden your screensaver kicks in and you have to refresh the video and you've heard two of the topics, there's a table of contents button that's going to come up over this whole show. Click that. It'll bring you right back here so you can see all four of the topics. You can jump right into it, which is awesome. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Four Points Show. See, I'm getting better at this uh, every week. Uh, with me, as always, on the panel, the lovely and talented, multi-talented, and now... B pan Pacific. Oh. That's not even a word. I don't know what that meant. But she just came in from London, I so that's what I really meant. I Alice Mayslip. Yay! And we do know now. You all clap. They don't know. Crew doesn't know. New people. Oh, this is new crew. New people. You clap. They're gonna clap for Justin. When you? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yay! See that? Hey, there it is. <laughs> so how was the trip? You literally just came awesome. off of a plane and came right I here. I did. I came straight here. I went and and shot some packages out for uh, Chris said. Hardwick. Everyone know who that is? Yeah, mm -hmm, probably because mm -hmm. this was his YouTube channel. Correct. His show. For BBC America, I went and the Nerdist. I went and shot some packages. Some British that. packages. Some British packages. Can I tell you? It was I the worst <laughs> British accent that the you British? have ever attempted, really? and it's because you sort of tried to attempt it, and the I could see you go, "I'm going to try British." Oh, I shouldn't be doing I British. Be doing British. <laughs> you stopped halfway through. I sang a lot of Mary Poppins out there. I'm sure they yeah, love right? that. <laughs> Welcome back, and I'm glad you made it without being shot. Thank you. Uh, they don't use guns. Stabbed. I know. I was like. <laughs> uh, also with us sitting at the uh, rotating Nerdist uh, seat, he's going to be here for a couple more episodes, Justin Donaldson from the Tournament of Nerds. And everyone claps for Justin. See, Woo! it's basically because you are the first person I'd mention, and then you say everybody should clap. He's the second person. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, we well, better clap. I think we just have, there, there's something forming. We're going to be mortal enemies by the end of the show. I don't want that to happen. Could they <laughs> install like an applause sign? We should get to, like an to awesome. Eliminate this from happening. What would be the sort of nerd <laughs> equivalent of the applause sign? <laughs> yeah, right. You guys, applause. We should just put pagers on all of them and just like a like a Bennigans and just when they're ready, it's applause sign. Hit the vibrating <laughs> Bennigans <laughs> things. Uh, <laughs> sitting in in our rotating guest slot, very happy to have him, uh, actor extraordinaire Joel David Moore. Yeah! Joel David Moore, ladies and gentlemen. To clap for myself because yes. I think it's always awkward, like in, in, in sort of like the, the, the Academy Awards or yeah. anything, when they when they clap for themselves and, right. and, and you're just like, are you? Should you yeah. do that? Should you not do it's that? It's also weird to just sit there and be like, thank you, everyone, for clapping. Yes, continue for me. clapping. I enjoy it. <laughs> this is cool. Do, do these work? I like. Yes, I like yeah, this. they work. I, okay, you can play we're gonna them probably afterwards. play this. I you know, know yeah. just get up randomly in the middle of this Dude, and just start do. playing. Yeah. The one thing I will say is I don't know if anybody uh, up here has yet to play Dirty Driving. What? Okay. No. Yeah. I haven't played it yet. No. Yeah. I'm down. We'll get Which on we'll it. Have to, we'll have to try that out. Yeah. So I have to ask you. Yeah. Uh, you were in arguably the biggest grossing movie of nerd culture, Avatar. I thought you were going to say Hottie and the Naughty. Hottie and the Naughty. <laughs> yeah. Which Grandma's is boy. a grandma's boy, which has <laughs> been down in the annals of history. Uh, <laughs> no, what what was that experience? Did you know what, what you were getting into when you signed up? Was we it just no sort of clue. like, hey, audition, oh, James Cameron, we, cool. we had no clue, and it, and it was fun because there was there was a lot of pressure was off because I uh, ha did not think for one second that any of that was going to happen. So I kind of went in and I met with I had to do I had to do like the first uh, uh, on camera for Jim. Like he was somewhere else. He doesn't come to these things. And I did my first audition, and that audition was we did our lines. Mm -hmm. You had to sign off just to have the lines in your the, the sides yeah. in your hand, and, and you couldn't take them with the you. Film either, and right? it actually was, oh. yeah, it was. But we didn't know that at the time. Right. Well, um, yeah, you're like, was not me. How do you pronounce that? What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. And then the second thing that uh, that the casting director asked me to do was say the entire thing in gibberish. And so I thought, <laughs> uh, okay, what? so I'm gonna so so I was like, so did you, you know just want me to make stuff that? up. 
No, I had really yeah. no clue. No, no, sometimes oh. they prep you with that. They're like, do your audition, and then oh, yeah, you have yeah. to sing Prepare your own language. Yeah. 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 And, so, and so I was like, and I don't know any other languages, thank God, because I think that people in this scenario probably would go into their, to like a foreign French language. Or something. Like you were just in yeah. London, you would go to, to that language. <laughs> yeah. right? Look at that Navi over there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I so, love that the uh, end of uh, your British is all American. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. British and by it's, it's just like know, there. I didn't even start British. That was I Australian. Oh, 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 there was no version of Britain, <laughs> British in there. Yeah, I love that. Damn yeah. Yeah. A, you Watching some, the show, you like, you're welcome. Thank you for taking her back. Thank you, England, for giving her back. So so you had to come up with gibberish, but you don't know foreign language, so you're like really gibberish. I literally do some gibberish. and. And, and I, I walked out of that thinking, like, there, there is no way that I... That was... I've made a fool out of myself in front of this beautifully, wonderful casting director. I'll mm. never be invited back to her casting office. And uh, but, but then... And, and a month went by, and we didn't know anything. And then uh, we get a call, and they were like, OK, so James Cameron wants to meet with you and, about this. And so, so then I go in, and we talk, and we're, you know, talking about everything for, for, for 45 minutes before we even do it. And then for the last 15, we shoot... You know, he shoots the scenes like this, like literally. Wow. It's got lights and everything, and kinos, and and it's awesome. And did then you he paint does. Did you yourself blue? He no, that did not happen. <laughs> but what did happen is um, we so we did the scenes for ten minutes or whatever. There's just a few scenes, and he was like, oh, "That's all great." He gave me some some notes. We went through that, and then we had a a, a voice a dialect coach there, and he was walking us through. They oh, were walking wow. us through uh, with the character, casting director. The like some very very general Navi language wow. skills skill set, wow. and so I said a bunch of stuff, and I th and that was the thing, and I thought I'm gonna not know for another couple months, and by the time I got home, we got the call, and they were like, okay, he wants you, and this is only this is only because he just knows what he wants, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, he's yeah. just like, okay, yeah, that that's, that's the like, guy. I don't need to. Yeah. I didn't see. I thought I didn't. I don't know if anybody else was was up for it. I had a couple people's legs broken, just that I thought maybe <laughs> were, John John. Heater. Yeah. I had, you know, Jay Andy Milanakis. Jay Baruchel. I said Andy Milanakis. Andy Milanakis. You were worried. You were like, I'm a very Andy yeah. Milanakis type. Yeah. Tom so, Green. So now Tom on your Green. resume, do you put under other languages, Navi? Ooh, I could. You I could. should. My friend Dalip from Avatar, who is one of the smartest people I've ever met. One is still in like the top ten of Jeopardy winners oh, or top wow. twenty-five. I may be wrong. Maybe top twenty-five. <laughs> and he has that on his re well, resume. That's, because that's that's that I'm gonna have that on my like. You should. That's, yeah. Top twenty-five still. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. uh, this is all lie. Yes. Let's get into the first topic, okay, shall we, people? Good. Come on. Oh my let's gosh, get on track. I'm Ooh, that is strong. The Disney <gasps> is opening a personal carbonite freezing chamber. Love Hell this yes. Idea. So good. Right? Best idea ever. Why yeah. they just need to print money on this. I, I want to believe that this is actually where Walt Disney's body is, but and that carbonite. can't No, but I can't that Was can't he happen. one of those that guys that got his thing afterwards. frozen? When did Disney die? Somebody knows this. A while back. Google Monkey! Let's make it clear, though. Disney <laughs> isn't offering a service where they freeze you or this any body part. Oh, no, so they take a facial true. scan. This, by the way, this is why we have Justin yeah, on the he's, panel, he's because the, uh, he brings us back to yeah. normal. Brings us back. It's yeah, going to be very hard with me here, I don't want any of you at home thinking you can go to Disney and be frozen have your for head life. decapitated. And then your head frozen. Oh, well, we don't know. That is not Justin, something we develop. do not know if you can't get decapitated. Wait, in is that true? Can you picture? This can you bring up this, this, uh, this information on the on the on the the actual thing that we're talking uh, about? Yeah. So this is so the carbonite thing. He, he'll pop to because it it's, bit. it's 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 they take a facial scan well, of you. I think yeah. they take maybe even a whole body scan. Whole body I think it's a whole scan? thing because they get you to like stand here like this. I'm, this is all speculation. I like the TSA. I love this. Yeah, they're like, put your hand up, and we're gonna put your boobs in there. Right. Why would it be just your head? It's a full statue, but frozen in carbonite. Because yeah, but really it's, they're just using. The it doesn't matter. You're just—they're just using a body, and yeah, I think that they're doing that. Well, you, you see a little body. There's like a bit of leg. And, yeah. yeah, no, but, but he's my, saying it's, it's Han generic. Solo's body. Maybe Han Solo's body with your head. head. I think it that's probably. Uh, but then I'm out. I, I don't. I don't know because I don't yeah. read. Um, but I, there was something about it being like a hundred dollars or something. It's a hundred dollars. It's a hundred. But here's the thing: once it's a hundred dollars, seventy-five dollars for an additional figure. Wait, we should also point out that these are. Eight, eight inches, inches tall. This isn't like a full size. I want size. the life size. Yeah. I Carbonite want the life size. Con. My friend wonder... actually has some of like he, fr from Lucas. He, they gave him one of the actual the full sets, size? like from the movie yeah. that he has oh, in his, in his house. Can I, can I just awesome. say? 
I don't like this anymore. Why? It's so short. Can we say this? Are we pro yes. are we sponsoring no. this? No. Because no. I think that that it's it sounds really cool and it's a great idea and kids are gonna like it. But really, probably what you do is just snap three photos of yourself and send it into them, and they kind of devise your facial scan okay. from that. Well, it's funny it. that you said this because yeah. for my friend's birthday, we got him a Superman action figure right. with his face on it. Fair what? enough. And what they said was send in a picture, front face picture, and side face picture. Yeah. It doesn't look any fucking like him. <laughs> I think this is what this is going to be. I'm just saying, because it says that they're using. It does say multiple camera Multiple angles. cameras, come on. And multiple you can only cameras. do this Save in the Disney art. Hollywood Park, which. It's coming. It's oh, come so you Disney. go in. OK, yeah. no, 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 yeah, it'll be better than that. It'll be like stuff. a motion capture type. But it's an okay. actual freezing chamber. Like, no. you go stand in, and then they do it, and then they come out. Got and, it. But do they send it? I mean, it's not like they're going to print it out. No, they mail it to you four weeks later. I want some on the set. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I wanted Alex and I to get some and to have them somewhere on our set, but they only do it in Florida, not in How? California. Well, not only that, they're only eight inches tall. I want a freaking life size one. <laughs> but well, I just yeah, want to make them a little like more another money. Set that I used to work we should on, just get so. once they get is the this... picture, like they should be able to make. Like, yeah, is it available now? Can you, you do this right now? Uh, it yeah. says coming this summer. Because I want to know. So, so let's say it starts in in August, and I want you guys, all three of you, to guess how many days, months. Uh, will go by until a drunk, uh, one of the workers at the park actually puts their balls up in there. <laughs> and so then so you have his body happened. and it a ball. That's probably already happened while yes. they were testing it. Yeah, I, yeah, I really, I, because I, because that'd be me if yeah. I worked there. I, I get <laughs> that. Let's be honest. All right, next topic. This is a teacher who wants to use zombie, a zombie outbreak, to teach geographical Knowledge. skills. Right? Not just yeah. like, hey, that's where Kentucky is, because People, I don't know, know where Kentucky was. I actually, literally, this happened. I was getting, I was taking my test to become a pilot, and yeah, long story. What? I was taking, my, taking my writing test to become a pilot, and there was this weather part where it was like, what is the weather system? And the question is, what does the weather look like over Kentucky? I didn't have to study, study how the weather system was. I literally had to go back and do a geography quiz to figure out which state is Kentucky. <laughs> That's amazing. It, you but obviously this is the thing. did not, I did not watch take a lot the zombie. of uh, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego growing up. No. No. Because anytime they showed no, that US you, map, I was yeah. like, what got they call it. dudes. Yeah. What? Yeah. You didn't watch Carmen San Diego? That's a girl thing, I think. Really? No. Yeah. Really? I feel like my, my little sister played Carmen, Carmen San Diego. Yeah. You watched no. it, but did you and follow then, it? Whenever they brought up the map of Africa, you're like, I'm. Fucked. I've seen Gossip Girls. No <laughs> yes. You know, but <laughs> oh, yeah. are we talking about the game show or the cartoon? The game show. Yeah, that's with Rob Bell oh, singing the theme song. The cartoon, Where I feel like, was more of a. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? No, so you have to be so cut out. We're not to pay for the Carmen San Diego. Zombie teacher. No, it was Stop. 10 seconds. It was 10 seconds. We, we can do this. Right. So, a teacher, David Hunter, is a yes. public school teacher who went, all right, guys, there's got to be a better way to teach kids basic geographical skills. And so he came up with this whole curriculum that's a year long curriculum that follows a zombie outbreak. Starts with preparedness mm -hmm. that's probably the wrong preparedness. Word. uh getting prepared uh yes. then it goes into the outbreak happening then it goes into post outbreak and then rebuilding outbreakness outbreakness <laughs> this, this uh, is movie? was out, that the sequel out, to outbreak yeah, yeah no no yeah. It, was, it was actually breaking three outbreaking <laughs> uh, this is so sad how is this so sad justin like the best thing ever had. wait you don't you don't no. like this idea no, no. this is fantastic oh, this idea is great. Great. Aren't kids interested in the U.S. Because they're not. Boring. Boring. No, it's because they not. have Twitter and MTV. It's and geography. Oh, this, they this don't want to come to me. But and I wasn't interested. Yeah. So. Oh. No, I, I I swear to you, the only reason I know about geography is Zombies. where in the world is Carmen San Diego and the Animaniacs song. We are the Animaniacs. Batman, 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 no, we're not. It's gonna be the most expensive be. episode of Four Points ever. <laughs> <laughs> it will be. Just um, for licensing, for, for yeah, all no. the 80s and 90s licensing. How so. awesome yeah. would it be to be able to walk into class and instead of being like, here's a map of the US, show me where Illinois is, you go, zombies are attacking us, yes. where can you run? I'll tell you why this is gonna work. <laughs> yeah. Because it didn't work for me. Mm -hmm. Whatever exactly. was going on, did, I can't exactly. point to Illinois. I can't point no. to Kentucky. No. I can't point to California. Yes. <laughs> you know? Somewhere. Could so, we, Hawaii, I think, is something in Mexico. that could be plausible to actually prepare children for something Who that could happen. Who are you? How do you know how to believe a zombie apocalypse is plausible? Well, well, could someone explain to me the obsession? But Justin, to, to, to be fair, 
you can take a lot of those skills for something that <laughs> isn't a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. They could, if there was a what was that, that Damon a, a, a movie that came out? There was a, like the a, bird flu. Uh, there was like a vampire uprising. Yeah. Yeah. If there a was a vampire, vampire uprising. Uh, yeah. Logical <laughs> things that could totally happen. Things that could happen. If Frankenstein <laughs> exists again, we're gonna freaking okay, uns <laughs> unseal somebody's head that's yes. decapitated. Like, put it back on. We're gonna unbroken that. We're gonna unbroken that. Those of you out there who aren't Justin and like fun with your learning this guy has a kickstarter campaign yes. can we put the which we're going we'll, we'll to the link at the bottom four the points show, is, is going to donate to it we're encouraging you all to do it too because let's be honest come on anything that has to do with zombies is awesome and teaching kids not only and yeah. by the way teaching kids to truly fear zombies yes. which is really what all teachers should be trying to do please yeah. donate to my wolfman math project <laughs> while you're at it you'll you also put that at the bottom of the screen <laughs> Seriously, well, right? I will say, if you could come up with a fear the wolf man learn math, I would know better math. I'm horrible at math. I'm yeah, horrible I'm, at math. I'm really bad. I'm really bad at math. Really actually, we're, we're, we've covered the two things that I'm worst at, at, at in life. Zombies and wolf. Yeah, those are, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I actually had to take a movement. second and I didn't say the word because I couldn't figure out if it was geometry or geography. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, I bailed on the word altogether. Geography. The, the, the pointing at things, the, the pointing point. at things on maps. That's, what is yeah. that? Geography. Uh, geography. Yeah. 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 Geometry I, I really is do. pointing at things at map and then tell you what degree the other ones are off. <laughs> it's just horrible. Yeah. Uh, okay, next top. Yep. Clarion has a new concept called Next Gate, which will bring iPhone apps, ready for this, to the windshield of your car. Super Scary. safe. Scary. Super safe. Very safe. Super safe. That's what we you're need You're texting, to do. you're like, oh man, I wish I didn't have to hold up this small <laughs> distracting device in my eyes. What if we just made this whole thing to show me where I'm driving a distracting device? Yeah. That would be so much better. Yeah. But, but it brings up a couple points. One, uh, it, I, I'm really excited about it. Literally, there'll be, you'll be able to tweet and Facebook via your voice and read it on your screen. All this is stupid. But there was a, there was a, there was a big announcement with this Google Glass thing. Have you heard about this? No. So Google has said, and they said it a while back, that they were coming up with this concept of Google Glass, which is going to be a, a glass replacement for your glasses or sunglasses that will then have information on them. It's basically Terminator eyes. It's like Terminator eyes. you can walk eyes. around and it'll give you little information <clears throat> on stuff you see. Yeah. Somebody gives you a text like and you're walking yeah. around and your phone vibrates and it says, you know, Bill just sent you a text. And you're like, mm -hmm. oh. I'll because it really saves so much energy so we don't have to so here's pull the thing. out our phone and go right, like exactly. that. We all <laughs> thought, oh, this is cool. I mean, whatever. At some point in the future, they will figure out how to do this Google Glass. Uh -huh. It's all speculation at this point. Well, the, one of the senior producers uh, who's working with Google Glass mm -hmm. put on a Facebook or something playing around with my son and Google Glass. And it's a picture of his like son that. playing around. But it's a picture <laughs> of his son. Like he's swinging him with his arm, or like around in his arms. And it's a picture from his point of view. So right. do you so think he now, can like verbally say, take picture? Like that how? is exactly what it is. Oh, that's cool. You will be able to So not tweet. only does it, is it glasses it and gives you information, it yeah. has a camera. Yeah, yeah you could go that. take Wait. picture, and it would take a picture of what you're looking at. That's pretty cool. So go, oh, it's like Jordy's visors. No, it's not Jordy's. No. Those are all like, that's this is what, what it could look like. That's Google <laughs> Monkey is putting no. up on the thing. Google Monkey, don't it put better, up fake It ones. better just look normal. Can we just say that? Like, look, this is a thing. If this is a camera, this is something that's going to come out, I want it to just look like, Ray-Bans Yeah, or and this, whatever. by the way, is why I don't wear a Bluetooth headset. Because you look ridiculous. Exactly. Yeah. But if the Bluetooth headset was like one of those like weird, like... Um, like in-ears? Like in, -ears? in Avengers, mm -hmm. by the way, when they're all talking to each other and they have nothing in their ear? Yeah. yeah. They just kind of go like that? Science. Oldest Science. trick in the book. Yep. There's the picture. Yep. Copy, there's, copy. There's, and they're talking to each other. There's the picture. That, this is wow. the picture that he took from his... That glasses. kid looks that's terrified. Cool, but that, that, that's not the craziest <laughs> technology <laughs> out there. That's a camera on some glasses. The crazy technology part of it is 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 you know the fact that you can see something. Yeah, on the glasses. Now to be clear, this is not what is going in the windshield. By the way, no, this so is the just what we're saying. Right. The windshield. So the could windshield display go. is seven inches. Uh, it's a WVGA. Uh, uh, the unit's powered by the vehicle's 12 volt accessory battery pack, so you don't have to worry about or the accessory jack. I'm guessing it just slides. Slides well, on. It, it kind of looks like like an iPad, almost like kind of 
plugs right oh, up. Oh, it's so not like projected pit. onto no, the screen. No, it's not projected. Right. Right. It's not like Minority Report touch yeah. screen. My well, mom's no, Pontiac, yeah, uh, that's what whatever it was, it had, had like it the, had the speed miles. speedometer. Yeah, exactly. yeah, in the yeah. 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 I was going to say, when I, when I was thinking about this, that's the, the first thing that came to mind. Why not just do that? Everybody was heads-up display. They were like, put the freaking Do you remember, there's some, I can't remember, I can't remember what car it was, but there is some car out there that already has a Facebook enabled app in it because the commercial is like the guy driving home from a date and like he's so excited about the date that he checks his Facebook and sees that mm -hmm. she's already updated being like had a really great night and he's like yeah nailed that it. Was on the windshield you know? it doesn't no, 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 no. no it just speaks into his car it all speaks right. her Facebook status into her car well but I don't want that when I'm driving but I feel like we've all learned something from this whole Siri thing which is People this, don't like to talk about it yet. No, but talking to, it does not working. It's not working. No. Yeah. Siri does not, I, I used Siri for three days and I asked her a bunch of stupid questions yep. and asked her if she was gonna That's marry me yeah. or fuck me and then I was done with Siri. Yeah. We broke mm -hmm. up. Yeah. It was a, it was a yeah. bitter, bitter breakup. And now they have Samuel L. Jackson doing commercials. Yeah, but and I don't way, believe any of that. And by the way, why does Samuel L. No. Jackson have to cancel his golf date because he has another date at night? Last time I checked, you, pr you play golf in the morning. And he You've never played dark golf? <laughs> dark, dark golf? golf. Uh, dark golf's amazing. Nation. Yeah. Start, it's sweeping the sweeping nation. Sweeping the nation. Yeah, it's big. Yeah. That is actually oh, true. That's big. funny. Yeah, cancel nice my. Yeah. No, well, maybe because he had to make the meal but because it's light thing. outside. Siri is a little bit because like Because Samuel L. Jackson doesn't have chefs. That's no, true. Never. No, no, he has to not. cook his own meals like yes. a hobo. Uh, Siri is a little bit like Game of Thrones. Shut up! You I'm hate Game of ready Thrones. Ready for this? I don't want to talk about this. Siri is the thing where you go, "Fucking Siri is so stupid," and they go, "No." Dude, Siri's amazing. Haven't you tried to ask it this? Try asking it this. And yeah. then you try it and it doesn't work. It's like, well, but eh, you're you not saying it wrong. it wrong. This is nothing like Game of Thrones. That's exactly like Game of Thrones. Every time no. I'm like, Game of Thrones is boring. They go, oh, it's no. going to get so good, uh, man. Joel it's like, and I, it's got to be good. No. Joel and I watch Game of Thrones every Sunday night together. We I'm sure. We're friends. We love it. It's a huge event. It's you the need Siri to come. television. It is not the Siri television. <laughs> it's the Siri what are you television. talking about? There it's are saying. dragons. It's oh. Game, Speaking of Siri, there are, there are now, dragons. Yeah, there are now they're dragons. dragons. All season <laughs> one, I was like, where are all the dragons? Oh, Wait, they're coming. My, my they're friend, coming. My, my friend Jeff calls, calls Game of Thrones boobies with a chance of dragons. Yeah. That, is, that is the perfect That's great. way to put it. That's perfect. That is the perfect way to say it. Let's talk about Japanese ass robots, please. Okay, this is my favorite thing. Uh, this is my favorite thing that I this read. This is point four. They gave, by the way, they gave me a list of things, and I, and then so then I use technology, and I, uh, mm. I watch it on my Apple TV. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know about this. Apple TV. It, oh. um, so, uh, so then, so I'm watching these videos. This thing is the creepiest. Yeah. Yeah. thing that I've ever so seen in my the best yeah. is The best is the Japanese researchers that made <laughs> Bug Robot have called it Shiri. It's called Shiri? Shiri. Oh, can I talk to the ass? You can talk Shiri. to it. That's the whole point. Yeah, wait a minute, hold the on. You can't talk to The ass has emotion. Ass. That oh, is the so whole I can point. just say, like, squeeze. <laughs> so the funny thing is Shiri in Japanese means, means, means butt. Buttocks. Clench. No, buttocks. it means butt. Mm -hmm. You can buttocks. clench your Shiri. Which is a push something. Push Shiri means I'm I'm gonna push my butt up. Yeah, but does it have a butt? It has a butt. It has a butt. I'm kind of embarrassed well, to ask this. Just a butt. I couldn't That's tell. It's just a butt. It's not. Oh, it is not. It is just a butt. Can you, it's it's just a can you put a link on it because I? No, because, right there. Okay, yes, first, first of all, the Japanese. This is not a crazy question because the Japanese are the ones who make all the sex toys. So the first Most thing yeah. that I'm thinking the entire ones. time, every angle that you see in the video doesn't show if it has the butt. It's not for the actual thing. Yeah. The, the anus the showing. The so who's going to buy this thing? Because it's Japanese for, researchers. It's, Japanese it's researchers for, to buy study the other. emotions of the it ass. Is, no, it is for like people who have spanking fetishes. Or like just like touching the but butt. The same people that have spanking, spanking fetishes have this to, other fetish that, that that's we're not really want to talk about. So it responds. If you spank that. it, it responds. Yes, yeah. It if moves. you spank it, it responds. Look, look it it is so first, weird. First of all, that looks like a stomach, so that's weird. And why does it? But if you, look at this guy it, touch it. Yeah, but what? But oh, oh, we actually had an angle there. It doesn't have yeah, a boo boo. No, it doesn't. No. It doesn't but, have a hole. No, no. I don't think it's. Can I say hole? Is that okay? It does not have a hole. He spanks it. He spanks it, and it reacts to it. I didn't see this one. This is different. What? Yeah, look, and then he's like. I'm nice. No, no you you're a bongo. The, the commercial one. Ooh. Well, First off, that's just that is the Japanese researcher. Yeah. I, you can't call that guy. If you're researching no. how to make something you can spank and kiss, you're not a researcher. You're, you're a, a guy fetish. who wants guy to make a something Yeah, creepy. you're a guy well, with a And I love it. Do it all the day. Go, go. I, I, the worst or possibly best part about this thing is that you, you, everyone needs to go and actually watch this video because yeah. obviously we're not playing the sound to it now, but the sound of the, it makes, <laughs> Yeah, loud crazy. clicking noises. Yeah, I know. It's like an it's alien not, like, bum sexy hole. Well, or this is like this that. is the like, version <laughs> one of the robot. Oh, well, like, it's gonna have nice clicking noises. Uh, yeah. I didn't see it up to a human. I saw the little commercial thing. 
So this is different, and now I'm actually even more creeped out because. Well, it how do I say this? Done with you, but. But. How do I say this? That is a petite, small butt. It's an Asian well, butt. No, 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 no. That guy was a norm. That was an Asian guy. That is a no, small that a butt. That looks wrestler. like a kid's butt. That was right huge. There. Look at that. That no. guy was huge. That's not a kid's butt. Yeah. That's a chick's butt. Actually, he well, might have been a, a, a taiko butt. drummer because of the way he did that. Look at that. That's so that, weird. This is so creepy. I don't want to look at it. I feel embarrassed. Have you ever been to Japan? No, I haven't. Have you ever? Have you ever been to Japan? Oh, you yeah. have. Yeah. yeah. Have you been? No. Oh. It is interesting. It's, it's crazy. There's some really. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. How do you feel about watching that? Does that embarrass comfortable? you? Comfortable. Yeah. Comfortable. You feel comfortable but with that? Not, but odd. Yeah. yeah. Allison, how do you feel odd. about that? I don't like it. You don't, you don't like, like that? that? You don't feel comfortable? No. No. Does it, it make you blush yeah. a little? Or? Yeah. I'm intrigued. Also, intrigued. doing jello shots yeah. makes me blush. Okay. Yeah. You're intrigued, as in, like, maybe you want to. I purchase one, but. Who knows where this is going? Probably like thirty thousand well, dollars. I mean, that's oh, the yeah. other thing. It would if be, it, it would be one thing if this was like, oh, we've managed to make a realistic butt. So when we make robots in the future, they have great asses. Realistic. Like, yeah. that's why Arnold Schwarzenegger had such a great ass in Terminator. Yeah. They yes. started from the ass and they built started. out. But this yeah. was more like we're just making the butt just for the butt for sakes. So, I hope. Okay. Everybody's worried about Terminator happening and Skynet starting. I hope this is where it starts. <laughs> because I hope that at, when we're, all the robot uprisings happen and, they, and everybody's like, are you kidding me? Nobody thought it would have started with Robo Butt Sherry. Yeah. Just for slap and fun action. That's why yeah. people That's why should be teaching evolved. geography based upon a robot uprising. OK, and totally valid robot uprising. But okay. here's the thing. There could be tons of different. I mean, once the guy gets up and running on his idea, you could slap on anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bird flu. You could slap on the Carmageddon. Butt. Could you get it's one of these attached to you? Could you get a the robot butt? butt? Well, if you off. had some sort of butt mm -hmm. accident <laughs> you, and your yeah. butt was chopped like, off, it, I don't know, it, by like a samurai, I don't butt? know. Yes, a samurai <laughs> chop-off accident could you happens get, all maybe the time that, over. Maybe that's, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why it started in Japan. Japan. All those rogue butt-chopping samurais. <laughs> could you get a robot butt still installed? Samurai? Sure. Sure. Wasn't Tom Cruise the last samurai? Well, they thought so, and then they were like, wait, he's white. So they made more. What's All right, happening? people, I believe that is it. Thank you very much, Joel David Moore, for sitting in. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely and talented. Uh, also, Justin Donaldson from Tournament of yeah. Nerds. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And always, welcome back from the land thank of you. your people. Julio, Mike. Oh, right. <laughs> Allison Hayes. I'm Alex Albrecht. We will see you next week right here on Four Points. Thank I was you just very much. Thank you. Yeah, they march. I'm Nothing I'm that you're doing is British. Nothing. Zero. This is more. That's British. That is British. You got it. You got it. You're the blushing Chris. <laughs> 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 <laughs>